Lady Chief Justice, members of the Supreme Court, I would like to take this opportunity by thanking you because this is my first time to address the Supreme Court in this country, given the fact that I practice in other jurisdictions. Now, the ball of contention is, and I know, Your Honor, you have already addressed the issue, um, the ball of contention is, I'm a presidential candidate, I was in this room this morning, my councils were refused to come in because we had already made a ruling apportioning the number of lawyers that were supposed to come in here, which is okay. But what I want to beg or to pray is that uh, um, I pray to be given some opportunity, probably under your discretion, so that I can also be enjoying to speak through my counsel on, court, on uh, case number seven, of which I was enjoined as an interested party. I've already uh, submitted my responses, and in this room, and in the absence of Raila Amolo Dinga and uh, Honorable Ruto, I think I'm the most approved person here, despite the fact that you have also other interested parties. You should also take cognizance that I've run for election in this country, I've traversed this country, I am very seriously injured, and I need to be given an opportunity under exceptional circumstances, if any. And uh, finally, I would also like to thank those who are here, especially uh, Gidu Muigai and James Orengo, for having successfully made me to be who I am today, and my alumni, of course, the Chief Justice, that please let's look beyond the mirror so that we can look at justice to be done, even though people say or call you or speak of fairness. Fairness starts with me in this room. Thank you. Thank you again. Um, thank you, Professor Wajakoya. We indeed uh, recognize uh, the fact that you are one of the presidential candidates in this uh, uh, last elections. Uh, we also are aware that you are an advocate. Um, we issued directions regarding the use of this courtroom and we explained why we only have so many lawyers allowed here. One is the space itself. Number two is the COVID protocols that require us to keep some social distancing. And number three is security. And so we have another room. High Court number one. If you want to observe from there, that will be well and good. But in this room, we have counsel who are fully participating in these proceedings. So you can observe from the next uh, um, uh, door um, and that's um, how it's going to go. You've had the last directions, you've given the further directions that even those counsel who are here, who exceed the number that we gave this morning, will not be allowed in this room. Uh, because we want to leave this room for the purpose for which we gather tomorrow. So we thank you, uh, Professor Ajakwa. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you, uh, Honorable President. Professor Ajakoyo, I think one important thing must come out is that you are a presidential candidate and we really uh, give you all the accolades and really respect your exercise of your democratic right and all Kenyans, admire, many Kenyans admire you and you believe, we believe you did a great job. Uh, however, if you under the law, under Article 140 of the Constitution, if you are grieved as a candidate, you have the, the first opportunity, you have a right under the, the, the law to file a petition challenging the validity. You did not do that, uh, Professor Wajikoyo. So you lost that opportunity. So with, the, so with respect, you have to bear the consequences. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's only that I was trying to make a point that I've been named as an interested party. Otherwise, I would have filed, but thank you. Much obliged.
thank you very much, uh, my brother Justice Isonko and Justice Ibrahim, for uh, clarifying and seeking the indulgence of Professor Wanjakoya because we operate under the provisions of the Constitution and the rules of this court which do not allow interested party and indeed if you could read the ruling we delivered this morning uh, on an application made by your colleague uh, Honorable Mwaure to be joined as an interested party was declined. So with those, I will beg that uh, the court will arise. We will assemble here tomorrow at 9. Uh, the petitioner will begin the arguments of the petition. We have a very long journey because the time is so strict and very short, remembering that we have to deliver a judgment on Monday. Uh, therefore, we will continue to beg for your indulgence in the way we conduct these proceedings. Have a very, very blessed evening. We are, we are returning to our chambers to work for tomorrow. Thank you. And I believe you are doing the same.